And continuing coverage this afternoon, as we learn new details, divers are speaking up about what it's like in the Niagara River. News 4's Ellie Ingersoll sat down with one and shares her story. It's been just over 24 hours since Buffalo police recovered one of their own from the water here. They were able to locate Officer Craig Lehner in the river not too far from Strawberry Island. And now, after that search has wrapped up, other divers are weighing in about their diving experiences in the river. It is a very, very treacherous stretch of river. Helen Domsky has completed hundreds of dives in waters all around the world, including several of the Great Lakes and the Niagara River. You have the flow of Lake Erie, so you have incredible speed and power of that river. Secondarily, you have a lot of underwater terrain that you would have to deal with. Domsky, who has been diving for 25 years, says she's never been in a dangerous situation in this stretch of the Niagara River, but feels the water is very intense. When you're in that current, you really worry about, you know, how far along you're, you're uh, going and if you can run into things. The veteran diver and biologist says the visibility is very poor. It's not unusual to stick out your hand and barely be able to see your hand in front of your face. And so I can't even imagine what it was like for the searchers to try to, to go into that environment. Domsky is saddened hearing about what happened to Officer Craig Lehner and knowing he died doing something he cared about so much. These men are really heroes that they're willing to risk their lives and go in such treacherous areas to save people. Helen says she understands why crews train in that area and she does get that they will be back out there once again training at some point. As for her though, she says she will not be diving in that section of the Niagara River again. Reporting from Buffalo, Ellie Ingersoll, News 4.